Okay, so the hair controversy with the lay your head down trend. So the trend is on TikTok. It's with a singer or the sound is a singer Lloyd who sings. He sings get it shout it and he sings like lay your head down, right? So when you say lay your head down, he has his part so I can work it, work it, work it, work it, oh lay. And then people drop their hair. And so, you know, lots of people have done the trend, but there was a girl who basically, you know how basically, what was her name? Chloe Bailey, the, the, the sister, Chloe and, um, Hallie Bailey, like she basically won the bust it challenge, right? Just nobody did it like she did it. Nobody looked how she did. Nobody com- understood the assignment the way that she did a plus extra credit, right? So basically there was an Indian girl, uh, like from India, like subcontinent and she took her hair down and her hair you know like fell past her knees or something right so you had a lot of black women in the comment section praising her beautiful hair as it ought to be praised and then there were african-american female content creators who came out and were like oh congratulations black woman you played yourself this is why these women feel you know like we're gonna cut their hair off and like we're so jealous and like we're obsessed with how they look and really we're not we a lot of people were just like you know is she indian with a feather or indian with a dot like like obsessed how when you're not even culturally competent you're not even fluent in what she is and how to distinguish who she is that's not what it was but i'll say it like this the reason i believe black women were in the comments oogling her hair like that and being like yes it's bundles yes it's indian remy right we were making all these jokes because so often white women say well that's why you put our hair on your head as an insult and black women are truly like disgusted by by the accusation and they're just like your hair in my head don't nobody want to uh the mississippi lice collection it's a lace front not a lice front what you talking about Right. So there's this racial insult that we get from, you know, our white counterparts within America. Right. These are insults born here on American soil. And so finally, we were just like and just like the women in the comments were like, just so you know, Becky, this is the hair that we're buying. Just so you know, like the, the these are bundles. This is like legitimate, like. it's this not that it's her not you right and so in my opinion I'm like you know you have black women who are constantly defending themselves against you know particularly what white women say about how we look because white women are so often paired with black men due to black men's worship of white women and we're just like oh we don't want your stringy mousy nasty you know hair we don't want your thin paper thin lips we don't want your we don't want your we don't want your and hear me out because i'm not saying that i'm just saying like these are some of the things some of the ways over the decades of my life i've seen black women respond to that but i think it shows maturity that black women were able to praise this woman so much because it just goes to show that black women were truly defending themselves as opposed to being jealous of a non-black woman. Because so many times people are just like, oh, well, when you say you don't want white women's hair or their skin or whatever, you're just jealous and in denial. And it's just like, no, nah, we really don't. And by the way, if you really want to know, this is what we're buying. This is literally like, like, yo, th- this, this, this. Miss Harden had henna and embrami powder, bingraj, amla oil. It's whole life, boo. Like, like, no, we're we're not. We don't have nothing to do with with the stuff that you have, right? Because straight hair is pretty darn universal. It's not a white feature. It's not. There are there are literally no features that white people are known for having that are exclusive to them. Uh, as a group of people, white people are around 10,000 years old, right? The, the, the last people group to evolve. Just science is what it is. We're talking out of Africa theory. We're talking the indigenous of the earth all over the world, including in Europe, including in Australia, including in both Americas. These are black-skinned people. 
and you have people who are so offended by that, you know, you know, Native Americans in specific. We weren't black. We weren't black. We're not saying everybody was black, but we're just saying, you know, like, yo, American definition, copper colored skin. I got that. You don't. That That's all we're saying. Columbus got here and said he saw Ethiopians. They weren't Ethiopians. They were natives. He was confused. But when you're talking Ethiopian, he saw what? Dark skin and coarse hair. I'm 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 just I'm just saying. It it's it's written. It it's not a discussion. It's 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 there. No one is saying you don't exist. Nobody is saying the Asiatic Native American is not indigenous. Just saying people who you would call in words Negroid, Africoid, in features phenotype, we've been here. Omex got cornrows and dreads all over all over Mexico where you find these colossal heads, right? But anyhow, because we have been so denigrated for how we look, whenever we fight back and say, well, you look like this and this and this, people turn that into jealousy. But it's proof that it's not jealousy, basically because they were able to praise this beautiful Indian woman who was just objectively beautiful. I personally feel like, like, here's the deal. I hate pimps. I think they should be lynched. I think they should all be exterminated. The, nothing is cute about pimping in reality. You're just a human trafficker, a child trafficker, and you, you need death. But one of the things that Bishop Don Juan said that I agreed with while he was holding his goblet and his cane and wearing his golden green, he was just like, if a woman sees a beautiful woman, and knows what it takes to be a beautiful woman and doesn't compliment her, she's hating. And I, I believe that. I believe that that's a hater move. There's so many beautiful women out here who can barely make friends and feel some type of way because people be mad at them for being beautiful, for being naturally beautiful, even though you just, you just spent $200 trying to look like her and she was born that way. Like, like show some respect. Like if somebody pulls rank, they pull rank. And it doesn't mean that, like, you know, they're better than you overall. But I'm just like, tell the truth. Like, yeah, we, we, we buy that rummy. We buy that Indian rummy. It is what it is. And even if you don't particularly, I don't particularly. But I'm saying we because I'm an African-American woman. And we buy bundles. Anyhow, the girl looked amazing. She looked cute. I was one of the people under the video, you know, making jokes about just so you know, this is the kind of hair that African-American women buy. So when you guys are busy telling us that we're imitators of you, uh, not so much. Literally, it comes from here. Now, maybe they think that we're coloring it blonde to look like them. But if you talk to most African-American girls, and I know that this is controversial, but when you, uh, most of us are going beyond say blonde. Like, like trying to look like B, not trying to look like Farrah Fawcett or Goldie Hawn or uh, Pamela Anderson or what's that woman's name? I think I'm in love. Uh, she was married to the guy from 98 Degrees, Nick Lachey. I, I don't know. I forgot her name. I think she's got a little sister that got caught lip syncing. But yeah, it's like like they're not trying to look like that. They're trying to look like Beyonce. Just just putting that out there. there there's something that that golden hair does to that skin. I remember when A. Marie colored her hair blonde, everybody was like, oh, she went Hollywood. And A. Marie is a very proud like black and Asian woman. And because she's black with an Asian mother... She's obviously, she's got a very indigenous look because she's got that dark copper skin and Asian features. Like, you know, old, a lot of OG Native Americans had, like now they're very pale looking, you know, whatever with Asian features. Anyhow, she said she personally didn't think that she would ever like or rock blonde until she saw the children of the Solomon Islands. And the children of the Solomon Islands have an amory type of skin color and texture. These are very dark uh, people with blonde hair and blue eyes. And they also have our hair texture, right? They, they range from like, you know, they, th their hair is between type two and type three. 
I've I've not seen a um a type four and I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't exist. I'm just saying when I see pictures of the children of the Solomon Islands, I see blonde hair, blue eyes, dark skin, type two, type three hair, and they're beautiful. Right. And this is what I mean by like, you know, every feature that um, people of the global minority have. It's not exclusive to them. Anyhow, people got their panties in a bunch. They said black women were humiliating themselves by oogling this woman's hair. And I'm just like, dude, that's your opinion. And I get it. But like, I personally thought it was beautiful to see black women appreciate the beauty of a woman from another culture. There was no hatred. There was no malice. There was no competition because Indian women from the Indian subcontinent, like I've run into problems with with Indian women, you know, from having converted to Islam and being in mosques and experiencing them so personally. But like the average black American woman has not been slighted by the average Indian woman the way that we've been slighted by Latinas and white women. So it's like, I thought it was refreshing to see black women that without the hatred, without the cultural, you know, years of competition and, and anger and fighting and inferiority complexes, whatever, you know, without all of that between women, like just woman to woman, and we can, you know, be like, you know, big up, you know, shout out, you know, like kudos to you. You look good. Slay, sis. It was very woman empowering. It gave me vibes, you know, if all of the kings had their queens on the throne, we would pop champagne and raise a toast. Like, it was giving me that. It wasn't giving me, oh, I wish I was Indian and oh, I hate myself. It was giving me, we love ourselves to the point where we can love on somebody else. We don't need to knock everybody else down to feel some type of way about ourselves the way that people like to talk to African-American women. I feel like that girl got the praise and the accolades that, you know, she deserved. Even if she had nothing to do with how she was born, she was born beautiful. And beauty comes in every, you know, and there were obviously black women who did the challenge, who had really long hair. I almost lamented cutting off my own waist length hair, which is, you know, maybe maybe bra strap length now, like closer to the middle of my back. But like... I li like I like to be part of proving black women grow long hair without being mixed. At the same time, I'm just like I I feel like that that's a a dead horse that has been beaten to no end. Because we see them all over the place. Natural 85, Natural Nisi, Shima 21, Kimmy Tube. These people are all over the place. How could you not know? That if we want to grow hair, we can grow it, you know, down our crack. How could you not know? So anyhow, I belong to a differing class of opinion. I thought it was beautiful to see a non-black woman praised by black women. I really did. Because oftentimes we'll drag another woman. With good cause, we're dragging them because they've dragged us. But it just goes to show that we can actually have a non-toxic relationship with another woman's beauty. That's the point. That black women can show up in droves as cheerleaders instead of as freaking haters. You feel me? As celebrators, not haters. Congratulators, not haters. Just looking at a good thing and saying it was good. I feel like it proves that when African-American women are in these arguments with Latinas who put us down or white women who put us down, it proves that, you know, we're not jealous because if we were so jealous then we would be jealous of this Indian woman. But instead, we're, you know, there's hand clapping emojis like round of applause, like all over the thing. And it's a bunch of black women. It's like, no, we're not jealous of you. You created a problem with us. We're fighting with you because you offended us, because you slighted us. But this woman who we have no history with, yeah, we, we, we can play nice because we are nice. 
people try to make us look like we're not nice because we might be fighting with a certain group of women who were pitted against us, you know, you know, with black men or, or whatever with that's going on within this country. And we look like we're always the problem. So I thought it was really nice to see black girls just being nice all over the comment section. Anyhow, that's all I got. I'm not sorry for... Uh, I got to learn to stop recording once I start to yawn. It's early in the morning. That's the reason for the crusty low voice. Um, I like it. I think it's sultry. Um, that's all I got. I thought the girl was beautiful and she deserved the praise. Let me know what you think.